Maybe we just get the Jog 90 on the stand. Sorry, it's a little humid out, so the camera's got that little fuzz on it. But I'm gonna do a gear oil change because there's no information online. So what you do is here, you crack this 12. So I crack that. You can do it with the wheel on. I had it off, I was just cleaning everything and adjusting the brakes. So I'm gonna crack this here. It's probably gonna fall right in the bucket. That's okay. And it's about to go. Oh yeah. Soupy. So it's 80, 90 in there. Uh, we're going to let this drain out and then I'm going to fill it with the amount that's in there because I don't know the capacity on it. And then what you do is you just pop this up here and you fill it from there. So I'm going to crack that open too to let it drain better. So I'll show you how much oil is after. All right. Very scientific. So we just take the same size container. See the difference in the oil too? A little more. That's a little extra. I'm gonna not use all of it. We'll probably spill a little bit. But I'm just wanna make sure there's enough in there too. Cause we don't know if any of it burned after all those years because Spike's been ridden hard. Alrighty, plug back installed. Obviously the bottom one is too. I'm glad I did it because it's a little crappy. So I replaced it with 7590. Uh, that's how I do in all the transmissions. And I think the spec was like 200 milliliters. Um, just buy enough to make sure you do the same thing I did, which isn't a lot. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed a little short on working on the Jog 90.